welcome back to my channel. Now that it's getting hot, we gotta make sure that we keep the sweat away and have a natural, no makeup look. If you wanna know how I got this look, keep watching. You have to make sure your skin is protected from the sun with some sunscreen. And then from my large pores, I will be using the L'Oreal Truth Coat Serum. And then I'm using the old school remedy, which is Milk of Magnesia. It really helps with oil. I have combination skin and it keeps the oil at bay all day. Then I will be going to my eyebrows. I will be using the MAC Soft Okra as a primer. And then I will be going in with a brown eyeliner by Maybelline. It's called Ink It in the color brown. After blending in the pencil with the eyebrow brush, I will be setting that pencil with a eyeshadow from the Wet n Wild Eye Matte Palette. And then I will be cleaning up my brows with Black Opal's Even Tone Liquid Foundation in the color Corrub. I will also be using that Black Opal foundation over the whole lid and I will be using that as my eyeshadow base. And for my eyeshadow, I will be setting this cream foundation on the eyes with the Milani Pressed Powder in the color Amber. And then I will be going back to that Wet n Wild palette. And in my transition area, I will be adding the same brow for my eyebrows. And in the crease area, I will be adding the black from that same palette. This look is a very easy look that really gives you a natural look that looks like you actually did more than what you actually did. After adding eyeliner and lashes, I'm now priming my face with the face primer I will list it below. And this is a good primer from getting rid of oil and I'm basically putting the majority of it in the T-zone area and putting the rest of it over my whole face. Now I'm going back in with the same black opal foundation to clean up the top of the eyebrow. I will be now adding black opal concealer in the color ebony bronze. I will be putting this in my T-zone area, cubis bone area, down the nose, and blend it in my forehead, and also on my chin. And since I am putting concealer in that area, that was another reason why I added extra primer to that area, because for the rest of our face, we will be setting it with just a powder, no cream products. And the purpose of that is the powder products are way easier to correct than the cream products. And now I will be setting everything that I highlighted with with that same Milani press powder that I used earlier for my eyelid. I didn't want a bright highlight because again, I'm not putting liquid foundation on the rest of my face and I thought it would blend in better. Now I'll be adding this Elizabeth Art. This is a loose mineral foundation. I will list the details below. Everything with this look I'm doing in a more natural, lighter fashion. Now I'm gonna be using this Ben Nye Chestnut Loose Powder and I will be using that as a contour because it's more of a subtle contour. And for blush, I will be using the NARS Taj Mahal because it has a beautiful orangey, bronzy, goldy look and I really like the way it looks and it's very natural. And I will be topping that off with a, I'm sorry, it's a Halloween wet and wild gold pigment that I will put in my bra area, bra area, <laughs> sorry. And also I will be highlighting it with my cheeks with it. To assure this makeup look will look natural and last all day, I will be using the H2O Osmosis Mist, which is equivalent to the MAC Fist Plus, and then I will be setting everything with a Ben Nye Final Seal. Trust me, I have tried them all, and this is the best setting spray you can get. And I am going to finish everything up with a translucent powder by e.l.f., which I normally do. Now I'm just gonna use a little bit and just pat it on my oily spots. Oh, no. Not too much. And then to finish everything off, I'm going to be using this nude lip called Nude Bullet from L'Oreal 601.
So what I do is I keep the powder with me and then I keep a brush like this, like my Echo Tools brush. And when you start sweating, you try your best, if you can, to fan yourself and dry some of it, you know, dry some of the sweat up. But if you can't, um, don't take the tissue and wipe it off. Just take a brush, the brush like this, any type of flat top, top, any type of flat top brush or kabuki brush, flat top kabuki brush. And when you go to fix it, you pat. Always pat in, because even though you not adding color, is color already there. So when you pat, when the sweat, let's see the sweat is coming here. So as one, sometime I have sweat marks coming down. But again, you don't want to wipe it. You can press it in, and you'll be amazed how just pressing it in like that it give you some extra color. And then I'll have a, um, a compact like this, which is no color at all. This is a translucent um, powder. This is by Black Opal, an invisible uh, blotting powder or something like that. And again, that is something that you would just use that way. You're not adding a bunch of color because the, when the color starts coming off, you want to try to use the color that's left on your face and not add more color so you have blotchy spots. You know, when you add some more of your color and if you don't have everything with you, it'll be spots. But if at least you can take the shine away by doing the press motion here. And you, I'm telling you, I do it all the time, especially when I go out dancing or um, I went to the New Edition concert the other day and I was partying hard. And when I looked in the mirror, my makeup was fine because all I had to do was take this out of my purse and just do one of these numbers. And I was done. And of course, setting spray is key. That's also is key. I really like the way that this turned out. Hopefully you do too. I just really feel like it's, I just feel beautiful. And I don't feel like I have a whole bunch of makeup on. And if I sweat, I'm not like, oh God, my whole makeup is messed up. I can fix it with no problem really quickly. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And remember, be your own kind of beautiful because you, my love, are beautiful. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and share. And I wanna thank all my new subscribers. I am so happy. It's just such a blessing to have support. So thank you so much for subscribing. And to the ones that have not subscribed, you know what you gotta do, click that button. And thank you for the ones that have been here from the beginning and my new ones. Everybody welcome. Bye.